Last night's grass fire at Lake Minnequa in South Pueblo is the third fire in that location in the past two years, including one just a month ago. But the layout of the land around the lake helped firefighters keep it under control, surprisingly. Cardio 13's Scott Harrison explains. Authorities say that between 20 and 30 firefighters from Pueblo and Pueblo County are all that were needed to respond to the Thanksgiving night fire at nearby Lake Minnequa. It helped that the nearest fire station, where I'm at right now, is just on the opposite side of the lake. And that allowed firefighters to get there quickly. But quickly may have seemed like an eternity to residents living nearest the spectacular fire and to those who had to evacuate briefly. On Friday, daylight showed just how close the fire came to homes along O'Neill Avenue and Mirror Court. Fortunately, the grass behind the homes was cut lower than the high, thick vegetation that fueled the fire. I could feel the heat. Before we left the house, I could feel the heat again in the windows. The fire was getting that close that I could feel the heat coming through the windows. Yeah, it was, it was that hot that it was, oh, several hundred yards away, a hundred yards away. Jesse grabbed his wife and their dog and moved their pickup truck out of the driveway. Oh, it was some blaze. It was terrible. We were scared. <laughs> Still, Kathy Cortez says that she and her husband would have kept watching the fire if authorities hadn't told them to evacuate. My daughter and her boyfriend was downstairs and they came up and we had to go around the circle. We just went over there. They told us to move. The evacuations lasted less than an hour. Firefighters say that the cold and windy conditions and the marshy terrain were particularly challenging. And their strategy was essentially allowing the fire to burn itself out. Yeah, we are really lucky. The city does a really good job keeping things cut and maintained for us. We have some real nice fire breaks that worked to their uh, crew's advantage last night. Those fire breaks, along with several trails through the area, also were a big help. We have learned that some of the previous fires at Lake Minico were caused by either fireworks or by homeless camps. Neighbors are anxious to learn what the cause of this one is. It remains under investigation. In Pueblo, Scott Harrison, KRDO 13.